Hey guys, figured I would uh, show you guys how we do the roof panels. Um, this is really a two-man job, but I've been feeding all of these ribs by myself. I can pretty much reach it from side to side. So we're gonna get started. So when you're getting ready to do the spray 90, for me the spray 90 dry it takes a little bit longer to dry on the metal than it does on the three the thin slip. So I usually spray this first and spray that second. So here we go. When I'm spraying the roof and when I'm spraying the thin slit, I start by going all the way around the edges. And then as I go across the middle, I stop on the edge and stop on the edge. That way we get a little bit of extra adhesive on every edge and on every edge in here. I think that helps keep it up. The middle doesn't need quite as much. You're supposed to let it go until you can touch it and with the back of your knuckle and it's dry to the touch. Still too sticky. It's usually about 60 seconds to a minute. Okay team, we're back. The preamp is dried to the touch. All right, so I can touch it with my knuckle and I don't stick at all. That's pretty good. So the way that I do this with one person is I start over here. I put it all the way in the edge, right where it needs to be. And then I stick it up. There we go. That's how we do a roof section by ourselves. Woo! So first step, papa, to building your van in 10 minutes, identify your needs. Yep. You get a lot of orders from a lot of people. What have you seen in the last three years that marked you the most? People book? need to know. You need to know what you want to do with your van. Are you going to be sleeping in it forever? You want a permanent bed, not a permanent bed, that type of thing. That's what you have to decide. What is it going to be used for? Is it going to be used a lot of time or just part time? And then from that, you got to plan every little bit you need in it because it's going to dictate what you're going to build and how you're going to build it. What's the most common planning mistakes people tend to do? Adding something at the very last second sometimes is very hard. At the beginning of your van, you're going to be doing things that you will need at the end of your build. So you're going to plan, 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 plan so that by the time you get there, you didn't forget about it. And one of the things that we got a lot of comments on was the placement of this USB charging outlet. And the problem we had was when we got camera batteries or phones or whatever, they're all over the table, they're right in the way. It's like this thing should have been put down lower so that the cords would you know, come up from below or something and we wouldn't have this here. Anyway, it was just kind of a kind of a mess. It's not a huge deal. That's why we didn't count this one. One thing we came up with, the phone cases that we have, have this little metal plate here. And that's so that they can fit on a magnetic holder. And so for over here, we just put a few magnets right up here on the wall. We just glued them up there. And now when we want to charge our phone, it's out of the way, it's not on the table. So that works really well. When we're not using that, part two would be this little tiny clothespin clip thing here. And we just put the charging cable through there and it keeps it out of the way, it's not on the table. And finally, we also have a cord down here. This is for the laptop and we just used a cup hook coil up the cord like this and hang it on a cup hook and it's out of the way. So it's not genius or anything, but these are just some little ideas about how ordinary objects can help you keep cords out of the way. 